Well, now that you've seen the mess, it's the kitchen. Um, let's go take a look at the den and uh, the sunroom and what we're going to do in this area. It's probably one of the biggest transformations. So we're hoping, really hoping, we can save this floor. So there's a concrete layer that's been done because when we came in, there, it, was, it looked like there had been a carpet on here, probably a shag carpet from the 60s or something like that. And they basically just poured a leveling compound, which is some sort of cement because it's so rough in here. What we'd like to do is dig down about six inches or a foot, uh, put some insulation down, put down a proper uh, base of concrete, and then try to either sand these tiles down or use a concrete sort of acid to see if we can remove this stuff if we can't we'll give you know it's not the end of the world but we're going to definitely give it a try to try to say what originally was in here um, the floor right now is so unlevel because we have a tree in the back that the roots had grown under same issue we had in the uh, kitchen where the roots went under the ground and they lifted everything we'll be using it a lot for kind of this be our tv room possibly or just you know a couple lazy boy chairs or something like that or a couch that we can relax in We've got a nice window over there that we can uh, look out in the garden too so this is kind of our chill room uh, we're also going to put a couple or a pair of um, french doors here so we can just kind of shut this off a little bit uh, from the extension that's uh, right over here so this room is what we're calling the sunroom. Um, it's not a huge room, uh, but what we're going to do is take the window that's on the side over here, and we're going to open that up into a series of doors, kind of like French doors that are open up. We're not sure if we're going to have them kind of fold to one side or just have multiple doors to open. Uh, but on the other side of this is where we put the pool in. Um, so it's going to be a nice kind of view. Uh, we're going to have a couple couches running this way, maybe a big screen TV or projector or something here so that we can kind of, you know, watch TV or watch a football game or whatever from the outside. Um, we're also planning on creating a, um, a bathroom here, not a bathroom, like a powder room. Um, so behind this here, we have a toilet and we're going to have a toilet and a sink. Uh, basically coming somewhere out to about this side and then on this side of it what we're planning to do is make a bar that runs along here and then have like a sink and then the you know wine fridge and a, maybe beer taps or something like that so this would kind of be a bit of a party area if you want to call it that if we have people over guests over they can kind of be from in and out of here there's a little toilet for them they can go out to the pool they can come in we get drinks we can have a nice time in here and uh, yeah, the laundry machine's not gonna go there. It's gonna be upstairs eventually on the second, on the next floor up. Uh, we have a little room set for that, which I'll show you later. Also what we have back here is we have uh, a little room that used to be, we think a summer kitchen. Yeah, so in this room here, this is kind of gonna be my wife's um, hobby room or something. If she wants to do arts and crafts or jewelry or whatever she's gonna do, we're gonna put a sink over here, which we replace the one that we already have. Uh, if she wants to do any blowtorch or welding or stuff like that, we've got a chimney here from what used to be the summer kitchen. Uh, we're gonna make massive alterations in this room other than making it kind of you know, a plaster on the walls and make it a little nicer. Uh, we may add a skylight in here and the same in the other room, we add two skylights in there or what do you call them, V-Lux or roof lights or roof windows and just to kind of get some more light in here we're also not going to keep this this is very 60s we don't think it keeps with the house we're going to do something more along the lines of this we replace it with some wooden windows with that kind of style uh, and then my wife will be able to sit here and work and do jewelry stuff and look at the garden um, otherwise yeah other than fixing the floor maybe put some tiles in here making it white a uh, adding a bit more light in here with a skylight and uh, plasterboarding or drywalling the ceiling should be easy. But yeah, that's all we're planning to do with here. Uh, this is also a room that we you that the cats use a lot. They go in and out. We've got a cat door there that goes out into a catio, uh, which I'll explain more later. But uh, why we have to do it, unfortunate. But uh, yeah, let's now go and take a look at the next floor.